Paddle up and let's hit it. Oh, that was a good intro. Hello, Happy I'm Green Farah. I'm going to be running Toy Story Race today, doing all the challenges in the Woody Tower. We'll click on through here. I'm joined by my co-commentators. I've got Seasoner here with me in person. Hello. Say hello. Hello. And I've got Big Haircut joining from sunny, sunny Scotland. Say hello, Big Haircut. Hello, I am Big Haircut. Fantastic. So um, there's 20 challenges all arranged in this big tower. We're going to complete all of them as fast as we can. Um, there's a lot of variation throughout. We're trying to explain as we go, I think would be the easiest way. Um, but I think, yeah, let's just get started. So timing starts when I click accept. So three, two, one, go. So this is cool. This first race is a knockout race, which basically means stay ahead of last place. Otherwise, not in other games, it's an elimination challenge. Yeah, elimination challenge. So, throughout the run, you're going to be seeing all these boxes. They're basically like your weapon boxes. Um, they all correspond to slightly different, um, slightly different weapons. You're going to notice, for the most part, though, I'm going to go for the red ones, because there is a chance you can get a boost from the red ones. And that helps us go fast. And that's what we want. Yeah, there are mushroom equivalents, essentially. <laughs> yeah, I've found that I, I run a I run a few kart racing games, and the easiest way to explain everything is just to tell it in terms of Mario Kart. It's the one that everyone knows. It's the one that everyone knows. Ah. Another thing that I quite like about this game is a lot of kart racers from this era, or like licensed kart racers from this era, are. Um, They've got like tank controls, but this one doesn't, and it really feels like you're controlling a toy, like controlling a remote control car. It's got a really good feel to it, which can be frustrating, because um, the reverse turning circle is really, really tight. It's way tighter than um, the turning circle when you're driving forwards. But that only comes up a few times. It'll come up in the battles, which we'll be coming on to very soon. Yeah, and it always has the thing that you would have if you tried to, you actually use a toy car where if you turn, if you just keep going, it will start sliding and then spinning in circles, rather than actual cars that would just go round. They would actually, you know, not slide, they just keep going. Yeah. They, they just spin round. A lot of sliding. Right, so next up is a battle. It's known as a smash challenge. Um, knock out all the other toys. So, um, one hit will knock you out unless you're holding a weapon, which will basically act like a shield, but it'll be destroyed if someone hits you. There's also a secret thing in these, in Smash Challenges as well, where if um, a, a, another toy drops a weapon, they get eliminated, and you then hit that weapon. You don't, you don't go out. Yeah, that has that has saved me a few times. <laughs> and there'll be think there'll be uh, there'll be ones coming up which are Smash tournaments, whereas this is a Smash challenge, and they operate under slightly different conditions. In Smash Challenge uh, the tournaments, you just want to get the most, and it doesn't matter when or where you get eliminated, as long as you end up with the most after all of the rounds are over. In a singular Smash Challenge, sort of the opposite is true. It doesn't matter how many Smashes you get, you just have to be the last one alive. Yeah, which means, sort of optimally, you can just get a lot of points at the start of the Smash Tournament. You can just start losing as long as you finish the tournament in first place. The challenge will be counted as complete. And you'll be good to go. I'm gonna. Ch this guy's gonna take a while to chase down. I've got a feeling. Yeah, it does, yeah. Especially because you. It doesn't help that you've got a going backwards item. Damn it. Because <laughs> we know what we know. Each thing has. Each box has two different things it can give, and we know. And we know what we're likely to get based on the box. So the reds give us either the zap or the boost. The blues give us a rocket, which is like a blue, sh a, a, a green shell, or uh, a spinning disc. Like, like a flying saucer, yeah, I think it. it's meant to be. I was going to go with a Beyblade, but that's the same idea. <laughs> and it just zooms around and goes wherever the, wherever it wants. The yellow and black polka dot ones either give us a an eight ball, which goes straight forward, or a bouncing ball, which goes which bounces behind us. And the pink boxes with the yellow swirls give us sheep, which are just essentially banana skins, which go straight behind us, or little smaller spinning tops that also go behind us in uh, a predetermined they're either on the left or the right but you don't know which one it is when you pick the box up and it just goes behind and spins and slowly goes uh, circles around it's slightly heat seeking as well like it will it w if yeah. you stand still it will get you yeah but which direction it starts on i think is random, yeah right? it's it's random yeah and there is like a little bit of 
like in Mario Kart, there's a little bit of um, sort of um, I don't know what the word would be. Your RNG for which weapon you're going to get is dependent on your position. So if you're in first place, you're very unlikely to get a cell charge, which I really would like this race because there is a cool trick you can do, but only if you have one. To hop over there. To hop over the fountain, which you've seen me have to go around, but I don't think I'm going to get it, unfortunately. We're in mall later, so I might be able to show it off then. I'm glad, I'm glad we're doing, uh, this isn't for Woody Tower, but I'm glad, but I will bring this up. I'm glad we're doing Woody and not another one, because I hope you, uh, I think you know what I'm talking about. The horrendous challenge that is in on this track, on a, in a different tower with a different character. It is, you, I'm assuming you know, the buzz uh, one, the reverse, oh, two yeah. lap super survival. Yeah. The, that one's atrocious. We will be doing a super survival later, which unfortunately is the last challenge. Um, and that'll be, that'll be exciting. Um, we'll explain what that is when we get to it, but this is going to be the first big skip. And I hope I get it right, because if I don't, I look really dumb. So basically, we're just going to drive into this wall for a bit. And you can see I've activated the first lap. And if I do it just right, I can skip laps by doing this, like that. So basically, you're poking your nose out of the level. Poking the, tip, the nose of your car out of the level and going back across the line like this so it thinks you've gone all the way around. Or at least it doesn't know that you've gone back over the line. There we go. This is this is just a good opportunity to just get to know each other now. Oh, you, okay, you've no, won. No, I'm okay, done, no, I'm done, we did it. <laughs> Do we know why that works? I'm, we, we don't know for sure, but we're pretty sure how it works is, like I said, when you cross um, your lap counter, like, like in Mario Kart, we're going to keep saying that a lot. Um, it starts at zero. When you cross the line, it'll recognize you're in the first lap. If you reverse back over, it'll take, the, it'll take that away from you. So you can't just reverse over the line and keep going like that. But what we're doing is the part that activates the lap, that you know comes up and says two out three, the part that activates that is the front of the car. If you sort of clip into the wall, the finish line doesn't extend into the wall. So you can sort of put the part that activates the lap into the wall and drive behind it so that you haven't activated the sort of the take back of reversing over the line. Um, and it is universal. It does technically work on every single level, but it just in most levels it's incredibly difficult to do. Um, there's a time trial layer on, which has quite a good visual cue, so we'll be able to explain it a bit better when we get there. Because yeah, I was, when, when I first saw this, I was surprised that it worked because most other racing games, particularly like kart races of this type, would have checkpoints throughout the lap that you have to hit. Yep. <laughs> and this one just apparently doesn't have them. <laughs> this one does not, as well as with um, the other game that Traveller Tales made, the other kart racer they made, Muppet Race Mania, also doesn't have the check. Um, yeah, so this is a survivor, which is sort of like a, a battle race. So I have to, I'm, I'm also timed. So I have to finish within the time limit, and I also have to make sure I don't get shot. And as I mentioned before, if you're carrying a weapon, basically acts as a shield. So that's just what I'm going to do. There's no downside to carrying a weapon. It doesn't slow you down at all. I'm just going to hold this and hope that no one shoots me. And also in this game, if uh, you don't have to hold a button to keep a weapon on you, you, as soon as you hit the box, the weapon stays, and then it's just one button to release. So you need to hold any particular button to keep the weapon, which I it's not on your fingers. I'm gonna go for this though. Hey, first cell charge or battery. I don't know. I think they're called cell charges in like the manual for this game, but which it's a battery. It's clearly a battery. Hey, come I'm on, gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. That's hell. They're pretty far behind me. I don't think they'll get me. I shouldn't say that, should I? Yeah. I'd have picked up the blue one just in case one of them had a one of them threw up. I, I actually was trying to. I just completely missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was worried about the the, the flying saucer yeah. can I can get you out of nowhere. Right, so this next challenge is called Smash Tag, which is basically um, there's going to be three characters racing around this track, and we have to chase them down and shoot them with a weapon. Later on, we'll also do like a normal just tag. And the AI in this uh, in Smash Tag uh, and tags are actually semi clever. In that, yeah. if they they detect how far along the track you are, and if you're more, and if they're within like half a lap or something, they turn around and go the other way. As you've just seen Rex do twice there, because I keep getting ahead of them. Yeah, these these can be quite time consuming. We're just gonna try and stay behind Rex. 
I don't know about you, but I always found smash tags way more difficult than normal tags. Yeah, I think so as well. Because you have so to, as well. Because if you get the, the the yellow or the pink boxes, you kind of have to hope that you get in front of them, then they turn around and you hit them as they're turning around. Otherwise, yeah. you just can't do anything. And this is one of those. This is the type of challenge where those flying saucers we keep talking about are very useful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because of how fast they are and how long they go before they they just they expire. Yeah, um, and you know, just we, we've got a second here. Um, some donations, I think, could definitely be read out. Just while we're chasing down Ham. Ellie Emporium donated five dollars. Go ferret, go. Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> Um, just one person left. We got Lenny here. It makes no difference, but something I I, uh, I like is that certain. But before the races, characters have voice lines, so Woody will go like "woohoo" or whatever. But there are certain characters like Lenny, and we'll probably run into a couple more that don't have those voice lines. <laughs> yeah, and it also it means that when you load up a a, a, a mission or a challenge. The, the, the music for the track plays, but the voice line interrupts that vo uh, that music, except if you're playing as one of those characters that doesn't have the voice line, then the music just keeps going. And I like that they yeah. actually kept, they <laughs> actually thought about that and didn't just cut the music out and leave the gap. It was good. D I think, doesn't Lenny sort of click? Like when he turns around, he sort of clicks, does he not? I think so, but I don't think it he might has... Be, it might be someone else who does that. But, uh, uh, yeah, uh, but I, don't, I, I, I think he is one of those that doesn't have the, that doesn't stop the music. I know, yeah. yeah, like RC and RC's the, RC one, the, first, does, yeah. the big one that I think is the first one that comes to mind. So um, there's an interesting mechanic in this game. So if I just hold, that's what happens if I just hold accelerate while I'm going up. Uh, uh, you can see I can barely make it. If I get hit by another character or sort of hit the wall, you can't, uh, you can't actually make it up that ramp. But, and I don't know why this works, if you sort of just tap, accelerate while you're going up, your downward momentum is reset and you can go flying off like that. Which I didn't know for like the first couple of months that I was speedrunning this game, and I was like, "How can everyone get up that ramp so easily?" And it turns out, it turns out, um, the game is badly made. I learned that just now. There you go. Like it's not known. <laughs> it's something. It's something that I think. It's not even that people kept it a secret. It's just like, oh yeah, well, it, of course. Wouldn't, you wouldn't think to try it. Yeah. Especially because like it's one of those old kart racers where you do have to hold accelerate the entire time. <laughs> And it is like the X button instead of like of a triggers, trigger. Yeah. No cell charges. Do we go backwards on skate park at any point in this on this run? I can't remember. Um, there is a tag later on that we'll go backwards on probably for a little bit. Because I, because I, there's a point where if you go back, if you do like a, a race, is the there's uh, and you go backwards on the skate park. There's a chance that the AI just gets stuck. Yeah, that's very helpful in the tag, actually, because there's like seven of them in that tag that you have to chase down. And um, if you can get a few of them stuck in there, you can just come and get them later, basically. Yeah, this is just a lap trial, just a normal lap trial. Um, again, the universal lap skip, it does work here and it does work on lap trials. But to do it here, you need to go through the mud, which slows you down. Um, and honestly, it's faster to do it this way because of how slow the mud is. Yeah, even yeah, the mud. I can't. Is it faster to go? Uh, what's the, is the top speed going normally faster than mud? Even if you're using a cell charge. It just about yeah, just about. So um, an, another new kind of challenge, a collection cha challenge. There's just a couple of clowns hanging out in the arcade. We gotta go pick them all up in the time limit. But if you play, if if anyone's ever played this game casually, they'll know that there's a peep one that is. That I, I always the used. I, I used to hate. <laughs> I used to be really bad at it. <laughs> I, just, I could just never, I'd always fall off. The Bo Peep one, so like you saw that I had a timer there. The Bo Peep one, I'm pretty sure finishes with like about a second. second left on the timer. It's a very difficult one to do. Um, so this next challenge is an endurance challenge, which is basically a series of time like lap yeah, trials in a row. Yeah, it's complete each lap within the time. And when you complete each lap, you get more time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just going to be doing this for a little bit. We've got time for more donations. Speedy D-O-O-R donated $50. Good luck with the run green. Thank you very much, Speedy. A generous donation. 
Remember, all the donations today are going to save the children. It's a great cause. So if you are able to donate, please do. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. So um, the lap trial after this endurance one is on the same level. It's on the seaside level. Um, but it is a really good opportunity to show sort of how the lap glitch, the universal lap skip works. Um, because like I said, you can see at the bottom there in front of the actually, frankly, quite disturbing like character icon of Woody. Um, you can see the timer above my head and that'll be, if you keep an eye on that when we're doing the lap skip, you'll be able to see how it works. Just a little bit clearer, I think. I've only just noticed, because I'm seeing it on a big TV like this right close up, I don't actually think Woody has any eyes. Uh, yeah, he's got like no pupil <laughs> in there. Right, so... I'm not going to go for the boost, but when we start, you can see the timer hasn't started because I haven't crossed the line yet. When I cross the line, it'll be go. When I go back across, it says cancel. So we basically want to try and do this without it coming up and saying cancel, which I can usually get, and I kind of want to just so we can see what it looks like. And the good thing about a lap trial, I mean, it doesn't necessarily uh, play into this particular uh, when you're using this trick. But with an endurance race, if you run out of time, the challenge fails. With a time trial, if you run out of time, you just have to you just start the lap again, and it gives you this, and it, it lets you go again. You just keep going and going and going until you you don't have to restart the mission every time that you that you fail. Yeah, you you saw there I actually did the lap skip the wrong way round, and I started it without it realizing that I started it. I'm actually pretty determined to get this. Is it easy to do it this way or the other way? Or is, does it not really make much of a difference? Um, this is reverse lap trial. It's easier to do it in the reverse one. There you go. So I'm on this side, and the timer is still going, so I can just reverse over the line. And that, that's roughly how the lap skip works. It's a good visual cue. So next up is a character unlock. Um, we are gonna. This is the tag challenge we mentioned earlier, where I just have to tag them. I have to touch them, and we unlock Ham by doing this. Yeah, because we don't have... So there are 12 characters in this game, I think. Oh, I should definitely know that. I think it's, I think there I think tw it's 12. I think there are 12 characters, all, uh, all from the original movie. But you don't have access to all 12 of them at once. So you start with, what, three or four? Yeah, it's like the, it's sort of the core cast. It's, yeah, Buzz, Woody, uh, RC, and Bo uh, Peep. Bo Peep right? Just those four, I think. I think so, yeah. And then you unlock the rest as you go along. This, If you were to start like to do this normally without just doing all of the woody just, just 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 doing the woody ones this is where you would unlock ham and you'd get access to the first couple of, of his missions yeah so you might have saw there that um ham suddenly turned around to face me there we go unlock ham um what i did there was because that part goes in like a big circle if you're close enough to the wall the ai thinks you're on the other side and it'll just turn around to get you yeah there are a few tracks like that where the actual where the game thinks you are isn't necessarily exact as to where it, it, it isn't perfect in terms of its tracking. Mm -hmm. So there's actually a brand new strat discovered in the pra me practicing for this. If I shoot this, it thinks I shot a target. This is a target challenge, didn't mention that. Um, you have to go around and shoot all the targets. But if you shoot one of your weapons, it thinks you shot a target. So now I have one fewer to get. Um, we're not entirely sure how it works but we think it's something to do with where the targets are stored in the game's memory. We think it's in the same place as the targets. So, just makes things a little bit easier for us. Yeah, and particularly because target challenges are known for being not necessarily the best in terms of how the targets are, the, the target hitboxes are not fantastic. Yeah, the target hitboxes are pretty annoying. So any There are no boxes and I have 10 seconds left. This is not good. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't yeah, think I can do that. Fair. I don't think I can do that. Yeah, through the. No. no. That was just that, that was that. There's nothing you could do. Yeah, the, like the, these challenges, the hitboxes one are incredibly frustrating, and then just sometimes, just sometimes there's no boxes. 
because if, as you've seen, they're not they, they don't spawn in consistent locations. They just pop up and yeah. disappear whenever they want to. At least I got to show off the the new tech. I was pretty happy. We found that completely by accident, and we had no idea what happened. You know what? I'm gonna pick up this one instead because this one. Yep, stuff like that happens. Yep, that happened. That the, the hitbox just just isn't there. Um, I'm gonna go around the normal way. So round here is where the target that we destroyed last time by shooting our own weapon is. It's it's the same one it destroys every time for some reason. Um, not we're not very. I, I don't know anything about reverse engineering games. If anybody does, join the Toy Story Racer Discord and please tell us. Thank God, I was worried that was gonna hit that time. Yeah, and I, it, when you, the weapon actually hits the target, the weapon doesn't immediately blow up because, it's, as you heard there, the weapon actually ricocheted off the target and hit Woody before it blew up. Yep. <laughs> and I wonder if there's a way. I don't know. Uh, it, with a sort of similar method with the the hit your own weapon thing, if somehow you could make it so that if you're close enough with the right target, it would count twice. I wonder if there's a way that that could, yeah. if, the, if that could ever be found. Potentially, that sounds like a good idea. I might have to try that now. Yeah, just another collection challenge. Go around the neighborhood, collect all the, all the little clowns. You know, as a, a hired voice that you, you found on Facebook Marketplace, I've never seen this game. I'll be honest, it's full transparency. <laughs> I don't even know you, but um, <laughs> I'm learning a lot. I'm learning so much. I I'm glad. I'm glad this run can be informative for you, Big Erica. <laughs> Please call me Biggie. Oh. Big Erica is my father's name. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, Biggie. That challenge, uh, the end of that challenge in particular, uh, if you saw, after... He collected the last clown. Woody, uh, you don't, you lose control, and uh, in those types of challenges, you just um, after most, you just keep driving around. The yeah, air just keeps driving around because of how particular that that track is coded. Woody just drives into the wall and just stays there. <laughs> yeah. See, if you leave that mission on for like twenty minutes as you go off to uh, make a drink or have a shower or whatever, if you come back, he's just still just driving into the wall. Despite the fact that there is a gate, which you obviously needed to get in, he won't drive. He'll just drive into the wall. I was that was a qu that was a quick one actually. I was pretty happy with that. All right, so now we've got a Smash tournament. So five five different Smashes, five different battles, and as Seasoner said before, um, the person who wins the tournament is the person with the most Smashes. That's all that matters here. I don't have to win every Smash. I probably won't. Yeah, you don't need to be the last one left. You just need to have the most, uh, any just the most overall. Yeah. So we're going for the kill. Like that's that's just that's just how these things go. Sometimes you gotta do it. Usually, usually the AI isn't that good. Damn. But um, sometimes, sometimes you know you'll be like four or five ahead, and then AI will you'll be like oh, I can just it's fine I can just get knocked out, and then the AI gets five. And you're like oh no. Yeah, because they traditionally share them, like one, one, one plus one plus one. Wow. Or... That was an incredible shot from yeah, Lenny. See, Lenny, Lenny got, got four. four. <laughs> and normally it's like one plus one or two. Yeah. You might get a, you might get a three. But yeah, so Lenny got four, and you said you had one where <laughs> one of them got five. Yeah, I've seen I've seen plus five before when I was like three ahead, being like, oh, totally safe, totally safe. Yeah, the electricity, the little zap is probably one of the best ones because as soon as the little character name sort of um not the character name the character icon appears it just you just press the button and you're guaranteed the hit so ah uh, rocky's got one too so i'll just stay away from him the only problem with the electricity though when the ai gets it they're very unlikely to use it unless there's someone next to them yeah. so you either risk getting um risk getting hit uh risk getting hit or take them out with electricity of your own if you have it yeah, so the AI with pretty much every other weapon will just get it and almost immediately use it. But they're coded in a way where with the electricity, they don't use it until they need to. And until they have a use for it. 
because with the, the other weapons, Beep. they think, oh, I can just throw this straight away and it might get it might mm -hmm. get a knockout. But with the electricity, they, until they can see they got a knockout, they won't fun. use it. Yeah. They won't just throw it away. So Ice Rink, one of the most frustrating tracks because ice physics are horrendous. I think in every game, if I'm honest. I've never oh. seen an ice level and gone, oh, thank goodness for that. I mean, the, oh, here we go. One is stuck. Watch, this isn't going to hit him now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> oh, I hit someone. Got Buzz instead. To become the fastest Toy Story racer, would you ever Damn practice <laughs> any unorthodox practices? That would you go to an arcade and electrocute people just to get in the mind of just Woody? Just to, to really get into the mindset of Woody. I think that sounds like a good idea. And there is an arcade here at ESA, so... How? <laughs> how did I miss that? He's he stuck in a corner. Yeah, he's just stuck. <laughs> he's just sitting there. The A doesn't, like to, the a doesn't yeah. like to reverse. <laughs> so if they get stuck, they just keep going. They don't reverse out. They just drive and just, just go until they until the map is over. Yeah, and when you get down to the last two, I'm probably just going to try and get knocked out here. Thank you. No, oh, no. Not, knocked myself out the way there. Yeah, and you can't yeah. stack items either. So if you have one, you can't get on another box to get rid of the one you already have. You just end up standing on top of the box until you use the one you've got. Mm -hmm. Come on, little green man. It's just you and me. Why did he just fired it so far away? I can get that. There we go. I think I should still be fine. Yep, plenty, oh, yeah, plenty, plenty of points five. ahead. Um, we've got time for another donation before this, before we get too into this next battle. Now this is fun. Nitro donated twenty-five dollars. Mall clip for the kids. <laughs> mall clip for the kids. <laughs> Thank you, Nitro. Um, so mall clip is a strat that only Nitro has ever done. Nobody else in the Toy Story Race community has ever managed to hit mall clip. I'll have a go. I'll have a go, but. It, it, again, it's one of those tricks that's just going to look daft if I don't do it, because it is just going to be me driving into a wall and hoping for the best. But yeah, thank you very much for the donation, Nitro. Oh, wow. I think I should be good here. Famous last words, but I think I should be good here. If I can just oh, get yeah, knocked I mean, out. You were five in front, and you have four, so... And there are only seven people. So this in certain situations, in certain challenges, the, the number is consistent in terms of how uh, which challenge gives you how many AI. But not all challenges give you the same number. So you can go from like two to three to there can be a maximum of eight toys in any one event. And this one, you they they just happen to randomly give you seven. Do you take damage when you bonk into other people? Uh, no. The mechanics in this game for battles are basically all or nothing. One hit, you're out. There's no, there's no damage. It's just you take a hit. Oh. Now, in theory, this should be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> if if one of the other characters knocked out every single person, they no. might have beat me there. No, because you were because Lenny had Lenny got two in that last round, and he was still five behind, so he could only have got a maximum of six. Ah, right. That's fine then. Right, I'm going to try the lap skip here. Um, so this is another knockout race. There we go. So the thing, the thing about the knockout race is that you didn't really, you wouldn't have really noticed in the first time we did it, is that um, it doesn't actually, it's not a limited number of laps, right? So it's just until the last person is knocked out. So I can actually just sit here and get like 30 laps if I want, and it doesn't make them go any faster. So now that I've got seven laps, I have basically won the race, but I just need to wait on all of these other characters finishing the race as well. <laughs> so um, in the meantime, there's a trick I'm going to try here. Let me just get this. Nope. There we go. So there's another skip here, which you can sort of... You can, if you clip into that rocket, you can get up onto that little platform there, which is if you don't feel like doing the lap skip is the easiest way to do it. But the lap skip on this level, when you're going in reverse anyway, there you go, um, is actually pretty easy to do, which is why you saw me get like seven laps there. Yeah, you got what, three, I think you got like three or four laps at once. Yeah, like you can, 
if you get it just right, you can um, just get like a whole bunch at once. Like I, like I said, I, the number I gave was 30 because I have one time got nearly 30 in one go. Um, but this is one of the levels as well where doing it the other way round, this is like I said, this is a reverse race. Doing this race forwards it is very difficult um, to do that lap skip and it has cost me a few, cost me a few runs in the past. Yeah, just got away on buzzing little green man now. Nah. Okay, so you're telling me, big haircut, that to become the fastest Toy Story racer, you have to break the game? Biggie, I'm sorry to tell you, but that's exactly right. You just have to break the game as much as possible. That is speedrunning. It's just breaking stuff. Well, I'm, I'm phoning the police. <laughs> right, next up we've got another um, skate tag. Oh, well, no, we've got another tag with all these potato heads. Uh, I thought I might be able to get that one straight away. Um, so yeah, just gotta chase, chase them all down. There you go, you can sort of spam accelerate, you can do that. Try to get up. Oh wow, they're all on this side. It makes no difference to the actual game. But in New Extra, when you hit something, not in, a, not in a tag challenge, but if you, say, hit one with a rocket or a flying saucer or whatever, they spin round. And uh, you can also make them... Uh, and it, this doesn't knock them out in a tag challenge, but you can also make toys spin around by jumping on them. Yeah, you can. Um, which is another reason it's good to hold a weapon, even just in a normal race, is if you get hit, you'll spin out. But if you're carrying a weapon, it usually just knocks you forward a little bit. So yeah. it's always, there's pretty much no excuse to yeah. not be holding weapon as much as possible in the, in the places where they're available. Basically the only one that doesn't move you is the, uh, is the, the electricity, because it does, because you don't, you don't hit it. Yeah, there's no projectile involved. Yeah, and you get, and when you, if you don't have a weapon, or if you do have a weapon, you just get launched in, a little bit in the direction from where you got hit. So if you get hit from behind, you go forwards a little bit. And then obviously the reverse is true. Yeah, and that you just saw what Caesar mentioned earlier as well, where the AI tried to go up that ramp and fell off. If I hadn't gone and tried to knock out the potato head there, he would have just been stuck there, and I could have come, got, come back and got him later if I really wanted. Would he not have turned around? Um, if I'd gone all the way around, yeah, he would have eventually turned around. But even then, sometimes, sometimes if you line them up just right, they'll just sit there. No. Are you trying to jump on him? Yeah, this, this, this game is far too violent. Far too violent. I mean, the insta kill electrician, uh, ele uh, electricity thing is uh, is a bit much, but you know, sometimes sometimes you gotta do these things. Saddle up and let's hit it. So this next track, neighborhood, you saw earlier in a collection uh, challenge. It is by far the longest um, track in the game. Yeah, full on like 55 seconds. Yeah, on. like 50 second laps. Um, you can't, I have done the lap skip here before. It's quite difficult. I might give it a go at the start of um, the next lap, try to do it quickly, but I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to pull it off, but we gotta try it, we gotta try it. This is a charity event after all, right? It's for the kids. It's for the kids, you gotta give it a go for the kids. Yeah, there are like a number of terrains in this game. Um, so like, you know, the mud will slow you down, this grass will slow you down. So for the most part, we were trying to stick to this sort of asphalt part, um, unless we got a boost like yeah. that. You wanna stay on road, like quote yeah. road, as much as you can. Right, let me try this very quickly. I'll try this. Yeah, the difficulty with this one is, at no. least with some of the other <laughs> tracks, you can actually see, it looks like the front of the nose is going out of bounds. Because on that one, it, it looked like it was just driving into the wall. Yeah, like, as well I don't well know if that actually makes any difference, if that's, if that's a, a thing you look for. Yeah, um, for the most part, the, I think the easiest way to sort of do that trick is to... You need to know exactly where the finish line is, because it's not marked on the ground. And even in the races where it is marked on the ground, it's not marked accurately. So, um, you just need to find exactly where it is. The unfortunate thing about Neighborhood is it's not flat. 
when you're there. No, so you're sort yeah. of like it's going grass, over this bumping. bumpy grassy part while trying to clip out of bounds. <laughs> Just a bit difficult. Um, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I, I, I don't want to risk losing the race because it, it costs like three minutes if you lose the race. Yeah, so I think after this, we've only got two challenges left. We have a knockout tournament. Whoever comes last in each race gets knocked out, um, which includes Maul. I'll have a go at Maul Clip. I've literally never hit Maul Clip before, um, but, um, uh, you know, we'll give it a go. Um, and then after that, there is the last challenge, which is a Super Survivor. So a Super Survivor challenge, we'll just tell yeah. you what it is now while we've got time. Um, Super Survivor is... You have a time limit, so you have to win the race within the time limit, but there's also... I you have to be the only one that finishes. Yeah, you have to be the only character that finishes, and it's not it's like a survivor, so you have to knock out all the other racers. So finishing the time limit, knock everyone out, don't get knocked out yourself. It is frustrating, it's a very difficult challenge to do, especially right at the end of a run. Um, and the, the sound... Um, all the voice clips for all the characters play at once, but in that last challenge, it's all Bo Peep. Mm. So it's like oh, this. It's just, it's just seven. <laughs> yeah, it's over just and like over and over and over. Seven <laughs> Bo Peeps going over and over again. <laughs> haunts, haunts my nightmares. It really does. Um, yeah, this is the um, arcade. Pizza Planet um, race that you saw before. We're not going to do the lap skip because it's much more difficult to do forwards. Um, so, no big strategies here. Just going for sale charge as much as we can. Uh, we've got time for a donation now. Nevflin donated $5. How do you unlock Zehanort in this game? How, how do I unlock who? Zehanort. What's a Kingdom Hearts thing? All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like I said, when you're in first, you very rarely get the cell charges, but like, they they save so much time. Well, yeah, they save so much time per race that it is worth going for pretty much every red box you see. Like, I'm gonna go for this one. No! Buzz! <laughs> <laughs> I was so block. perfectly timed. The block, too. <laughs> if you'd have just left it, I mean, yeah, if he had, is it because, it's because you hit him. And he spun around and then blocked the, because the, blocked the box because he was spinning around. Yeah. Nightmare. Don't worry. I know the game says I was fifth there. It's fine. It's just because I went this way instead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, having the last two challenges here at the end, where you've got five races where they're all three, three laps, and then you've got the, and then you've got seven bow peeps at the uh, in the final challenge. Mm. So at the, the end of this, the end of this game in general, because these two, I think the final challenge requires. Uh, is it the final one or the final two that both require 190 to unlock? Do you know? Uh, I, think I know it's the both, last one. I think does. it's both. Yeah. So there are 200 challenges in this game over the 12 over the uh, uh, overall 12 characters in total. The, the one that we're about to get to after this, you have to have done 190 of them in order to unlock it. So you've done all of that game, and then you get to the Bo Peep Super Survival. Just... Just brutal. Game, games used to be really hard. Games are still hard, but these kids' games are difficult, honestly. We got, that will be the last time we see Tiny Hawk Skate Park. I don't know if you saw the sign. It says Tiny Hawk on it, which I think is adorable. Um, this next race has a lap skip that is way easier to do. So we're on the finish line now. The finish lines in this game extend upwards infinitely. So now I'm above the finish line and I can just sort of crash into this wall and it'll give me laps. Easy, just like that. A way easier lap skip to hit than the other one. But it only works in levels where there's two floors like that. Unfortunately, basically the only other track I can think of that, re that really utilizes multiple levels is Andy's house, and it, it, you don't you don't you end up falling down right before the finish line, mm -hmm. so you can't use it. And also, lap skips pretty easy on Andy's house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Don't even. Yeah. You don't need to see. So don't need to use that trick anyway. Right. So after this, we've got Mall. 
um, which is the last race in this challenge, in this little tournament. And then after that, the, the dreaded... It's, uh, all the challenges have names, so the last challenge is called Sweetheart Survivor. So... I like that they actually went to the effort of naming if all 200 challenges, actually giving them a unique name. Yeah, and like most of them are just like bad puns. Like all the all the Woody challenges are just cowboy puns, and pretty much all of the Rex challenges are dinosaur puns. Yeah, it's great. Like one of the, I think it's either a Smash Challenge or a Smash Tournament. It's called like Smashosaurus Rex. Yeah, just stuff like that. Like there's um. The, one of the challenge, one of Woody's challenges, I think the first one is called um, um, Shoot Out at the Old Corral. Not related to the challenge whatsoever. It's just like a string of cowboy words put together. Yeah. <laughs> this sauce? Yep. Right, mall clip. So, mall clip, you noticed when we did mall in the past that there are two. Um, escalators that go up. Basically, you can clip through that wall if you hit it just right. But I've literally never. Oh god, I'm definitely not hitting it this lap. But yeah, that wall there on my right, you can clip through that if you get the angle just right. I've never managed it. I'm gonna give it a go. But as long as I don't get shot here, we can show off a different trick, um, which is jumping over the fountain that I've had to go around every single time. So you can just boost over like that. Yeet. Easy peasy. Also, I hate myself. I just was the used, I just worked, used the word "eat" unironically. <laughs> yeah, that was an attempt at mall clip. It, it's just that. It, it's just you hit the angle just right, and you can go through that wall. In theory, can you do that? Can you just t attempt it infinitely? Yeah. So if you wanted to, you're so far ahead of hand with this clip, you could, you could, in theory, give it a couple of goes. Right. Not sure. saying you should, but you could. Right. It takes so long to get down that escalator, though. That is also true. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ham's not quite caught up yet. We'll, we'll give it one more go. <laughs> it's it's just it's just a really difficult trick. Like I said, only only Nitro has ever has ever actually managed that. Like even the world record doesn't include a mall clip. The world record for Woody does not include a mall clip. It does include a lap skip though. But that's really hard because um, on one of the many terrains in this game, this is like a polished floor, so it's not quite ice, but it's still, it's still quite slippy. Yeah, but it's, it's probably easy, uh, well, easiest to do because even if it's slippery, it's still flat. Yeah, it's still flat. Right, last challenge. This is Sweetheart Survivor. At least we're gonna see if we yeah. can do this in one go. We're gonna the see. only thing about so the only good thing about Super Survivors is typically the timer isn't horrendously unforgiving. Yeah, right. it's only slightly unforgiving. Yeah, you have to do you have to do a little bit of waiting for the AI, but as long as they're not if they if three of them take each other out, and then you can kind of get a little bit get not horrendously unlucky with the items you get. You should be able to do it fine. The only as I said the only real awful one in terms of time is the is the buzz one. Because that is ridiculously unforgiving. Mm -hmm. It's as if they gave you they gave you a time for the track, but didn't remember that the track takes a lot longer going the other way around. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it, so it's, it's uh, two laps of the mall. It takes this length of time. Forgetting that by going the other way, it takes about, what, five seconds a lot longer? Yeah, because you have to go up those, those pesky escalators. Yeah, because you're going the Ooh, wrong way. No, I don't have a weapon. This could end poorly. And that box just disappeared. <laughs> That has a tendency to happen. Box it, and that one disappeared. You're also not getting very many throw behind you boxes. Yeah. Right, that's good. Another one of these is also good. Yeah. I might just pull this off. Right, I just need that go. one. I did need that one. We gotta go quick. This is probably. No, not I don't work. know. No, she's she a got, battery! Because she's in first. She was in last. Oh, I got a battery oh, too. Oh, that's a fail. Yep. So that's what we're saying. Like this last challenge is so unforgiving. Like you know, you spend the entire time hoping that you're going to get batteries. I got two batteries in that race, and they're completely useless in this race. Yeah, because it isn't. Because this race isn't finish first. It's be the only one to finish. Yeah. And these races get especially bad if you have to do. If a, you have to do most of the work yourself. 
and B, if you can, as you can see, one of them just ends up really, really far behind. And she won't use that now because she's in first. Yeah, if I can get just ahead of her a bit, she'll use it. And then I can do that. So now you have to wait. Yeah. See how much easier it was that time? Like, just pure RNG. Oh, can... wow, she shot me. I did not expect that. Right. Where is she? She's got. Oh, I was. I was gonna. I was gonna say if you if you got her in time, would you have gone for the? Would you have just skipped the second lap? I could go back and do it if I wanted. I, I'm. It's too inconsistent. It's so like. I, I know I said it's easy on this track, but I have lost so many of these sweet survivors trying to do that when I could have just gone this way. So. Yeah, that that is that is basically Woody Tower. I, when I time will be yeah, time's coming up. Very time soon. is coming up when I finish this race. Although no, I think time is technically when I get to the well done screen. But that's about the same time. Hey, look, another cell charge. Thank goodness. So time is when I accept. That is time, time. now. Whew. Not bad. Not bad. Right, um, thank you so much, ESA, for having me. This has been a pleasure. Oh, just quickly, just because I've got five minutes. When you unlock and when you complete all the challenges, you get these nice little credits that's got everyone's faces animated in the style of the little character icons. And of course, you get this little... You get a 16, a 4x4 sliding puzzle. Yeah, which I am absolutely not going to do because it will take me well over five minutes to finish this. Yeah, <laughs> although I do appreciate that they kept the bottom four squares in the same places. That's nice. That was nice of them. Um, but yeah, thanks so much, ESA, for having me. This has been a pleasure. This is my first in-person marathon. It's been fantastic. Uh, shout as well to Seasoner and Big Haircut on commentary. Thank you for keeping me right, guys. And last shouts out to Nitro and Claude, two other members of the Toy Story speedrunning community who found all of these glitches and helped keep things competitive. Always like competitive speedrun. Yeah, thank you so much.